Oh my God, what the hell is that? Jesus save me. This is like the Donald Trump of jelly creations. Someone help. <laughs> Hello tomatoes, how are you today? I'm fantastic. So you saw the title, you saw that cute ass thumbnail. I bet it was cute as fuck. It's true, I am making <laughs> jelly mayonnaise. A jelly jar of mayonnaise. I don't know if I can physically taste this DIY afterwards because I'm the type of person that cannot eat mayonnaise unless if it's like a tiny bit on a sandwich or like a little spicy mayonnaise on my sushi. Gotta flavor that shit up. But mayonnaise by itself is literally <laughs> my worst nightmare. And just imagining a gelatinous blob of mayonnaise is just honestly really tickling my asshole right now in the worst possible way. But before we get started, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to become a tomato. We're trying to reach 800,000 tomatoes. So hit that subscribe button to become a juicy, fresh ass tomato. Also, this video is a huge collaboration with so many of my friends and my boyfriend and everyone. The people that I'm collabing with are my boyfriend Alejandro Valdez, Glitter Forever 17, Glamour Life Fox, Cute Life Hacks, Jacob Krugshank, Kim Spire DIY, and Chelsea Crockett. Y'all, don't forget to check out all their videos. All the links will be below. And don't forget to subscribe to all of them. They're all literally amazing people. Literally, some of those people in there are my favorite people in the world. So go subscribe to them. Go check out the links below. And go watch their shit and tell them Timmy sent you. So yeah, let's get started with this giant blob of mayonnaise. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> okay. Honestly, can we just call this the devil's pus? Because I think that's what it is. You will need a big jar of mayonnaise. And if you're an American, you probably have five of these in your fridge. So you're good to go. You will also need need gelatin and that's it so take a bowl and we're just going to empty out this giant jug of mayonnaise pour it all in am i the only one that hates taking off these paper things because i feel like like it's so dirty and i don't want to get the mayonnaise on me i feel like i'm touching an old man's butthole juice i can't so after i scooped it all out i took the label off because afterwards we're gonna dress the mayonnaise in this label because it cannot be naked we don't want a mayonnaise penis showing in this video so then i cleaned it it was so dirty and disgusting and i also cleaned the mayonnaise container and then <laughs> I took my X-Acto knife. First of all, be careful with knives, bitches. Second of all, this is so much harder than it looks. Every other YouTuber, like, makes it look so easy. Like, oh, I just, like, ran this across like a damn pencil. No, bitch. <laughs> I struggled. I was sweating. My ass crack was dripping. Oh, snap. Mr. Mayonnaise got some moves. Oh, slay Zani. So then I got a pot out, and it had a mysterious little bit of water in there, and I left it in there because I love mystery. I added way more water to my mysterious little puddle, and I added tons of gelatin. I think like 24 packets it was a lot but it still won't be as jiggly as this ass bitch <laughs> hashtag tomato got a gelatin ass <laughs> honestly that makes me want to make a jelly asshole so then I cooked it I put it on I think medium I don't know people always like ask for like the specific measurements and shit with that's not a measurement this temperatures and uh, citruses it's what what's the other one centric what <laughs> I literally forget. <laughs> I just Googled it and Celsius. So as you saw, I mixed in tons of mayonnaise into the hot gelatin. And y'all, the smell was indescribable. It was disgusting. It didn't even smell like mayonnaise. It smelled like what I would imagine Donald Trump's breath to smell like. Like ass with a sprinkle of armpit. And it was just, it was wonderful. It was a great time. <laughs> oh, Timmy is everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> That's my sister, Sarah. She's my camera bitch. I love her. Yeah. So then I put it in the fridge and it's done and it's very cottage cheese looking. So getting this thing out of the container was so difficult for me. Like I felt like I was fighting a battle within myself. So I got the top half off and then I realized that it was cut in half from my scissors. So I just cut it early. So there's the first slice. I hope it satisfies you. I hope you enjoy my mistake, you bastard. So then I shook the bottom half out and it came out ploppy plop. So now enjoy me trying to piece together my dignity. I'm trying to put these two bitches together. Squeeze bitch. So now I'm putting on his little hat. He looks so cute. And now I'm clothing him. Gotta cover up those privates and the big ass crack in the center. Oh, it's, oh, it's falling. Someone call Alicia Keys. I need her to sing. <laughs> so then I chopped it up and now it's time to taste it. Voice over break, bitch. I can't, I can't eat this. I can't. It smells like a sour pussy. <laughs> I physically can't. I'm sorry. <laughs> Timmy Tomato didn't even taste his own DIY. What kind of a YouTuber is he? A hot one, bitch. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and check out the other people in this collab. I love you so much. I'll see you next video. Oh, boo, boo. <laughs>